Carlisle will kill to get what they want. Tyler. Where's the money, Zach? I wish I knew he. It's not an answer. While you're flying around the world, I was back here making promises to people. Promises that I can't back up now that our entire fucking bankroll is evaporated. We had hundreds of thousands in cash. With no amount of arguing is gonna bring it back, E. Starting to wonder if it ever really existed. You don't trust Zach? Why don't you trust Zach? Zach, do me a favor. Tell your assistant to shut the fuck up for two seconds. I'm not an assistant. I'm the financial director of this company. Of what company? There is no company. E, Nicole talked to her people at Carlisle, and they're willing to bankroll us. It's not the kind of money that we're used to, but it'll be enough. Oh, Where the fuck is everyone? I just took your picture. If you take one step more, I'm going to call the cops. You're Josephine Cobden. You're the reporter. You do the blogs on identity theft. Why? My name is Ethan Dobb. I run Secure ID Guard. Identity theft is the fastest growing crime in America, with 900,000 victims reported each year. It is estimated that identity theft costs financial firms over $2.4 billion a year. The victims of identity theft suffer damaged financial lives and ruined credit history. The internet has altered the way we live our lives and conduct business, placing information and services at our fingertips. But as internet usage grows, there is an ever-increasing risk of identity theft. Identity theft victims suffer well beyond immediate financial costs. There is tremendous emotional strain as they attempt to rebuild their financial lives and credit histories. In many cases, the effects of these crimes can be felt for years after they are committed. Jacket. Mm -hmm.